Today I'm sharing with you two skincare ingredients that I feel like any woman over 40 should have in her skin in her skincare routine. I feel like they are essential and that they are ones that can help you so much. Let's get into talking all about these powerhouse ingredients that I think you're going to absolutely love. Hello, my friends. I'm so glad that you're with me today. We are talking about two specific ingredients and we're only going to be talking about those ingredients because I feel like these have made a huge change in my skin and I am 53. I hope that they help make a change in your skin, especially if you're over 40 and beyond. It just seems that that is about the time when we really need to start using powerhouse ingredients and these two ingredients are powerhouses. Trust me, you're gonna love them. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna tell you that I can link my shirt. I always tell you about my shirt and my jewelry. My shirt I've shown on this channel before in another color, it was kind of a periwinkle and this is kind of a bright berry. This has a bell sleeve and it has just buttoned down a kind of a deeper V with a tie. I love this shirt, it's so much fun. Does go over the hips and the belly and hides that a little bit, which is great. And I also can share with you my earrings. I absolutely love these. Uh, a circle drop dangle hammered earrings. They are so much fun. They catch the, the light and they're so pretty. And then also the necklace that has two different details in it as well. It has a double link, but one link is hammered and then the other link is silver. So gorgeous. And you know, my jewelry doesn't hardly ever cost very much on here. I will share with you the rest of my makeup, my fingernail polish, everything will be listed and linked down below. Speaking of those links, now if you're interested in any of the products that I'm talking about, those products are gonna come right here in the screen in the corner. And then once that number goes up, you can jot down that number and it will correspond to the product that I'm talking about or that I'm holding up. So you don't have to remember the name of the product, you can just remember that number. And then you can go down into the description box and you can find that number and next to it will be the product that you're interested in and the link that I have created for this video. Please keep in mind that those are affiliate links, but I really appreciate you using them because it does help support my channel and helps really to support my family. And I just want to always make sure that I tell you how much I appreciate that because I don't take that for granted. So right now let's get into these very important products that I think that you will notice a difference in your skin almost right off the bat. Let's go. All right, first of all, I don't think this is gonna be very much of a surprise to any of you that have been with me for a while, but those of you that haven't, this might be something that you haven't heard me talk about before. And that is the Cell Bifida Serum. Now, why do I feel like this serum is so important? The first ingredient I wanna talk about is Bifida. Bifida is a fermentation process. And the way that they found this fermentation process is through making alcohol products. They were making beer and wine and all of this other stuff. So they were, as they were working with them, and this goes for the next ingredient that I'm gonna talk about to you also. As they are working with these ingredients and a lot of them didn't wear gloves or they wore gloves that kind of seeped through, you know, that kind of thing. As they're working with Bifida, they find that their hands are getting smoother. Their hands are getting brighter. Their dark spots, their age spots are going away. Their fine lines and wrinkles are going away. Their hands are super hydrated throughout the day. And they're thinking, hmm, well, maybe we should look into this further. Well, that's what they did. And they found out through testing that Bifida is a powerhouse. Now I'll tell you why I say powerhouse. Number one, do any of you use um, Estee Lauder Night Repair or Lancome Genifique. If you use those two, either one of them, they're super expensive, right? I mean, we're talking over a hundred dollars for, I think it's a 1.7 ounce, or it might be, you know, a little under that. I'm not exactly sure. I'll make sure I put that up on the screen for you. But I do know that this complex is under $20. Now, the number one ingredient in here is Bifida. The Bifida on Estee Lauder Night Repair and Lancome Genifique don't come until way, way, way down. It's something like under 10% that, that those two wildly popular skincare products have in them. Under 10%, this one has a powerhouse of 60% of Bifida in it. It's phenomenal. 
Okay, not only does it have bifida, but it has the second ingredient that I want to talk to you about, and that is galactomyces. And I know that so many of you have heard me talk about galactomyces before as well, and that is because it has the same property as bifida. It does the same thing. The only difference is bifida can target a little bit more of that acne scarring and help keep acne at bay, whereas galactomyces, it actually can target the hydration that we have. So what happens, and I'm getting my phone here because I don't want to misquote, and I think I already did. I said that this had 60%, it has 70% bifida, but it also has 20% of galactomyces. It has niacinamide. You all know that niacinamide is a brightening. It is a fantastic ingredient that can mix so well with so many other ingredients to help our skin's barrier, brighten, all of those good things, and 2% of hyaluronic acid. So this is so good, it's so good. And I will also tell you that this does have some ceramides in it and it says to protect the, the skin's barrier by moisturizing. So that's why they put the ceramides in there. But let me just read to you directly out of here. Bifida promotes regeneration and recovery recovery process improving your skin's immunity galactomyces moisturize skin increase immunity and protect skin cells from harmful uv ray, UV ray exposure and then niacinamide reduces visible signs of aging removes spots after acne pimples and blackheads and it goes on to talk about ceramides and how those ceramides will um, fortify your skin's barrier we hear about that so much now so that is really important okay this is number one this is a serum it is very thin and watery i will show you what it's like um this is i've probably purchased a hundred of these that's an exaggeration yes but this is my ride or die serum that i use at night estee lauder night repair lancome genifique yes that's exactly what these are but at such a different at such a discounted cost and i don't know whether this is japanese or korean i'll flash that up on the screen for you but it is skincare that they care about. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm so impressed with Japanese and Korean skincare because they really focus, just laser focus in on ingredients and they feel like they're so important. Okay. The number two product that I want to talk about is one that I tried years ago and I don't remember being as impressed as I am now with it. And it is the Benton Fermentation eye cream. So this is another fermentation process that we've been talking about. This one starts out with galactomyces. What I love about this one is the very first thing that it talks about is wrinkle care, elasticity, skin radiance, and skin protective ingredients that moisturize and keep your skin healthy. I need all the help I can get right around those eyes. And I don't just use this around my eyes. I use this around my lips because of those nasty vertical lip lines that we all get. Ooh. So what I also like about this, and Cranicel did not claim this, but I think that um, Benton, I've got it backwards, but I think that Benton does claim this is that it does not have any sil silicones. It says silicones out, volatile alcohols out, 20 cautious ingredients out and then it goes on to say what it does have it does have the galactomyces the bifida the ceramides and it makes skin glow it hydrates it nourishes it helps the elasticity care it's just one of those ones that is so good now what i want to tell you is not only do they have this but if you cannot get cranicel if after this Maybe this might happen, maybe not. But lots of times when I talk about Cranicil, it sells out. So Benton also has one where it's just flipped in the ingredient order of, it. they have a serum. So they flip the ingredient order, which I don't think is a bad thing. I actually use the Benton when I can't get Cranicil. So they flip the Galactomyces and the Bifida. And really, I don't notice much difference. It doesn't like take away or add or you know, it's not much different. So either one of those you can get your hands on. Now I'm going to show you what this one looks like. By the way, this is a fairly good size tube. I think it's like 1.7. I'm not sure. Let me look. Um, this is, nope, it's a 1.05 tube, which is actually pretty good because most of the eye creams that we buy out of the like Nordstrom or whatever, they're like 0.5. So they are half the size of this tube. So this is pretty good size. And here's your cream. This is such a rich, nice cream. But at the same time, it sinks in so quickly, which I love. I know from my own experience and how this has changed my skin using these fermentation um, products, 
how they have changed my skin dramatically especially in the luminosity and how I, I feel like it just has helped me not develop that sagging skin so quickly what I do is I actually use the Benton eye cream morning and night and I use it um, underneath the eye cream that I use from um, Sukoyaka Suhara that is my Japanese very very favorite for the tons of moisture that I get around my eyes but this since I started using this again it's really softening these fine lines and it's really helping and I'm also noticing that I have some dark spots that have kind of creeped up into the areas that are right here on top of my cheeks they're starting to go away as well and then the same with the bifida morning and night I use the bifida in the morning after I use my good molecules niacinamide toner and then at night if I'm not using a glycolic acid I use it right after I cleanse if I'm using a glycolic acid which I do about three times in three times each week at night then I'll wait for 10 to 15 minutes before I go in with any other skincare otherwise you're kind of counteracting that glycolic acid this also can go on with your retinol that is a huge thing because these are very soothing ingredients as well those fermentation processes are extremely soothing to skin that might be having a little bit of trouble right at that point now if everything is sold out that i've talked about which i really don't think it will be but if everything is sold out that i've talked about there is an essence and you can get this if you want to do this just you know like spritz your face that would be a great idea too there is an essence from skin diva and it is all galactomyces i mean it's something like 90 percent of that Bottle is just galactomyces so far those two ingredients are powerhouses for me retinol vitamin c niacinamide and the fermentation processes love them to death so so good right now i'm going to point you in the direction of one of my skincare routines i don't know whether this will be morning or night but whichever one it is i hope that you do enjoy seeing the products that i use in there so go ahead and go over and look at that video and get some great ideas from that one as well Hope you're all happy and healthy and doing really well. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. And I will catch you again very soon in my next video. Love you much. Bye-bye, my friends. <laughs>